today at church we learned about the Lord's Supper, but I don't really get it, do you? Actually, yes. Would you like me to explain what it means? Sure. In the Bible Matthew, Mark, Luke and John all record the last meal Jesus had with his twelve close friends and followers. Paul also wrote about this in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 11 from verse 23 to verse 34. So what is it all about? Before the first Lord's Supper, every year the Jews kept the Passover as a remembrance of that great night when God brought them out of Egypt. That night, each family had to sacrifice a spotless lamb, which signifies Christ the spotless lamb of God. The night when Jesus had the Last Supper with his friends was also a night when he would be taken as a sacrifice for our sins. But wasn't that a long time ago? Why do we continue to do the Lord's Supper at church today? Good question, friend. First, to help us remember how he died for our sins so that we might be forgiven. Second, to remember that he is with us today. And third, to remember that he promised to come back to this world one day and take us home with him. In other words, whenever we do the Lord's Supper we're looking to the past when he died for our sins, we're looking to the present because he arose from the dead and is alive today. And we're looking to the future because he is coming back soon to take us to heaven. That's right. But why is it done the way we do at a church? You know, what's it with those pieces of fly bread and little cups of juice? The bread is fly because it is baked without yeast and it represents the body of Jesus which was without sin. The juice is made purely from crushed grapes. It represents the blood of Jesus. So whenever we take the Lord's Supper we remember the sufferings he went through for us at Calvary. Exactly. We remember how his body was torn because of our sins and healing. And how his blood was shed, so that all our sins may be cancelled out. So, what makes a person fit to eat the Lord's Supper? Before Jews ate the Passover they had to remove all yeast from their homes. Yeast is a symbol of sin in our lives. Before we eat the Lord's Supper we have to get all sin removed from our lives. In other words, we must be born again through repenting of our sins and believing in Jesus Christ. Yes, in addition, we must approach the Lord's Supper with respect and godly fear. God is watching. Disrespectful or frivolous behavior would make God angry with us and punish us. But on the other hand, if we get right it could open up all the blessings of Calvary for us. Healing and strength for our bodies and minds. Next time I'm definitely going to prepare myself 